Hi there, how are you doing? Come on. Good. Thanks for being here with us. Oh, thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. It's very exciting. It's very exciting. Congratulations on the film. Thank you so much. Uh, I've spoke to many writers and authors over the years and always asked them the same question, which is that when Hollywood comes a calling, I can imagine there's excitement, but also hesitation. So what was the point where you felt at ease with the project? Was it was it who was making it? Was it Paul or was it kind of a combination of, of all those things? You know, it was in development for almost 10 years. So there, it was mm. a real roller coaster ride. There were times where it felt like super comfortable. There were times where it went way off the rails and I had to go into Game of Thrones mode, you know? So it was just a different, <laughs> a different feel depending on when. Once Paul came on, you know, it was a different feeling because we had a script that was really solid and it's something that Paul really believed in. And then from there, he could sort of interpret it however he wanted and it still had the bones and emotions and core of you know really what was going to work so um, I think ultimately him coming on board is what got us the green light and allowed us to move forward but it was in a good place what was your relationship with Paul because he is such a great director but also such a wonderful human being and so smartly dressed as well like I told him earlier he just that does his that does himself every single time that must have been great knowing that it was in those hands and also that he was kind of stepping outside his comfort zone a little bit which seemed to give him uh, a different kind of fuel if you like Oh, yeah. I loved working with Paul because he's one of my favorite directors. You know, I've loved his movies. I love what he does. I love his sense of humor. I love his sensibility. And I think him being able to come in here and take the things that he loves, which are sort of, you know, strong female characters, humor, irony, and really play with them. I just felt like we were on a similar frequency and wavelength. And I, I really just said, you know, go run with it because your vision is going to work. It just fits the material. Um, and so we had a great collaborative relationship when he had questions and things about what the fans wanted and what was important. And, and you know, we talk about all that kind of stuff. But I also wanted to make sure that he had complete freedom to, to make the movie he wanted. And then, you know, um, I think that dialogue was the most important. What was the experience like for you of seeing some of the footage and then seeing the final thing? Because these are things that you've you spent a lot of time with in your, you know, writing the book and came up with the characters and all the stuff. And it's all down on paper. But when you see the it come kind of come to life, what's that experience like of seeing it kind of all that stuff that you've done kind of come to come it's, to the big screen? It's so interesting because I went to I was on set for for quite a while and I felt like you know, when you're writing, you're living in almost a dream space. Everything feels kind of fragmented and, and the way you sort of interpret things is very, it's very based in your imagination, which has no limits. And then to see it actually real, you almost have like a, a little bit of an out-of-body experience. I remember I went up to the costume department um, and uh, I saw a folder that said, said Hort's necklace. And I told her, oh, there's a Hort in my movie. How funny. And like, it's just like I completely like split where I forgot that I was actually on the set, you know? So I think it's, it's things like that where you just, your brain almost can't comprehend it because it's the conscious and the unconscious almost fighting each other. And also, I mean, the good thing with this is obviously it's very cinematic, but also being on Netflix means it can reach, you know, the whole world and reach countries that, that might not even have read your book or might not even have access to, to cinema. So how exciting is that given that it's kind of a worldwide release? I think that's the part I'm most excited about is that people are going to experience this story, you know, that people just uh, turning on Netflix are going to uh, get a taste of this world and this story. And that's the part that kind of gives me chills, you know, and hopefully they'll come back to the book and want to learn more about the world and go deeper into the other books so they can be prepared, hopefully, for, for future movies and things like that. But I just think it's that this story is going to get another life um, is just it's like winning the lottery. It's like the luckiest thing for an artist. Yeah, more fans means, you know, they want more. You exactly. never know, <laughs> down exactly. the line. <laughs> That's the hope. Uh, so lovely to talk to you. Congratulations on the film. Thank uh, you so and, much. Uh, yeah, I hope it goes really well for you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.